I don't think the population is very well covered today. Um, part of it is because it's such an abstract idea, and when people can connect to specific examples, specific narratives, specific characters really that help tell them a story, that's when people get the message. So there have been a couple of stories that at the news hour we've done in partnership with National Geographic, but I, I don't you know, flip across the dial and see stories about population every day, or climate for that matter. So since they're so large, um, what it's tough to do is to try to you know, find something that's representative of a larger problem and make that a very compelling visual story, at least on TV is what I'm talking about. So while I think you know, trade publications and niche uh, uh, publishers online are probably covering climate aggressively, I don't necessarily think it's coming to the larger audience very fast. Whether it's population or climate, I mean, the conversation is going to be a difficult one with your children and your grandchildren because they're going to ask the very basic question, did you know this was going to happen? And then at that point when you say yes, when I had the statistics, when I had access to the information that I could have made a more informed decision and choice and I didn't, I think that's when that sort of guilt portion of the conversation comes into play. Uh, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting question I, I, in the sense that Perhaps I'll be able to tell my grandchildren about particular individual choices that I made, and I don't necessarily know whether that'll carry enough water. They'll say, well, you were part of a collective that voted this way or that way, or you had a choice to do this or that. Why did you support this? I, I don't know. Uh, am I optimistic or pessimistic? I guess it depends on which side of the bed I wake up on in the morning, right? So I'd like to be optimistic in the face of such dire statistics, just because I think I root for the underdog and I want the underdog to win. And I think right now the statistics and the trend lines are very pessimistic. But you just have to believe that we can do something about it. Otherwise it'd be just futile. Like why don't we just give up? You know, why don't we just quit and run this place into the ground? So if you care about who comes after you and what you're leaving them, then I think we have to be optimistic just to keep ourselves sort of nourished and fed so we can change.